are tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. Well, Black and White Sports fans, the woke ESPYs are going to be coming up here pretty soon. Now, I don't watch the ESPYs at all. It's nothing more than on propaganda. Remember, this is the same award show that gave the person then known as uh, Bruce Jenner an award simply because he said, you know what? I don't want to be a dude anymore. I want to be a woman. They gave this man an award. I remember actually watching that and um, everybody was standing up and, you know, and cheering. Brett Favre was there and it was pretty clear that Brett Favre didn't approve of that because um, he was actually sitting down while everyone else was actually uh, standing up. But here we are in 2024, guys, and um, there is some controversy here. ESPN is getting destroyed because they're giving an award to Prince Harry. Yes, they're giving the Pat Tillman Award to Prince Harry, a man that is so privileged, man. I mean, Prince Harry doesn't have to do anything, doesn't have to work a day in his life. But maybe it's because of um, his uh, left wing uh, wife, Meghan Markle, that ESPN decided to give this man an award. Not to hardworking people that actually make a difference. This is ridiculous, man. This man is on royalty and he really doesn't have any connection really to sports per se, even though he actually does something with the um, Invictus games. He's getting destroyed, man. Pat Tillman's mother has come out slamming uh, ESPN for um, honoring uh, Prince Harry. Also, ESPN's own Pat McAfee is coming out in opposition to this. So we got two things to knock out here in this video, guys. Make sure you guys like this video. Subscribe to the channel. Become a channel member. Member live stream every single Friday at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. You guys can also support us by becoming a member on blackandwhitenetwork.com and on Locals for just $5 per month. So here we go, guys. Right here. This is uh, Pat McAfee. This is the clip here. And by the way, Prince Harry, man, this man is such a simp. He ran away from his own country and now lives in the People's Republic of California. But um, let's uh, go ahead and watch this uh, clip here of uh, Pat McAfee. Then we'll get over to what um, Pat Tillman's mother had to say. Let's roll it. ESPN. The SBs are taking place here in a couple weeks. Promotions taking place. A lot of conversation about Pat Tillman's name, American hero, obviously football guy, yep. uh, who had a full football career ahead of him, said, nah, I need to go serve the United States of America. Ends up passing away with uh, Friendly Fire. which was Yeah, just in case you guys don't know, Pat Tillman actually passed up, I believe, $3 million from the Arizona Cardinals because he wanted to serve his country after the 9-11 attacks. He was in the military the same time when I was in and he lost his life, paid the ultimate sacrifice. It was a whole scene of itself. Now there's an award named after him, as there should be in the sports world, because that is somebody who is the definition of selfless. Uh, it's going to Prince Harry, oh. who I don't even think he's a prince anymore, right? He said, don't call me that. Yeah, he's been excommunicated <laughs> as yeah. well. Chosen, don't. chosen. Not See, why does the SPs do this shit? You know what I mean? This is asinine. This is like actually the most embarrassing thing I think I've ever seen in my life. That's for sports people. What? Yeah, that's what the award is for. Yeah, uh, somebody yeah. who's committed their life to sport and yeah. everything Prince like Harry that. Has. It's like when you do something like this, you know the immediate reaction from humans and from sports fans and like people with like just common sense and brains. It's gonna be like. And for some reason, audio cuts out right here, but. It's going to continue. Yeah, yeah I think he had. I think, had I think to, it's right? part of the entire mm -hmm. process. Yeah. And I assume Prince Harry, by the way, I don't know anything about him except for the South Park episode and then what I've learned from the Crown oh, and yeah. everything like that. They got him. Like, did his people know? Like, hey, you 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 publicly put me up for this award. You're just asking, basically, every person that is considers themselves, you know, American, like uh, saying this is bullshit. <laughs> you know, especially yeah. at a sports award type thing. Yes. I assume he knew that. It didn't. Know, they didn't expect that. It's I don't like, like it. 
Nobody does. Yeah. That's they probably the don't know anything about it. They probably have no idea about the award. They just say, oh, of course, yeah, let's put you up for something. Let's get you, you know, you can go give a great speech here at this American Awards show. And I got a chance to talk at the beginning of the ESPYs, uh, mm-hmm. much to the chagrin of the people that run the ESPYs, you know, that they, they, they weren't necessarily thrilled about any of that and uh, all that. But, like, come on, man. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Hmm. You know, because you can celebrate sport. We should celebrate sport. Especially, yes. like, the yeah. worldwide leader should yes. celebrate sport in the moments and everything like that. But doing something like this is just obviously trying to piss people off i i you know what i mean and it's like there's been numerous decisions of this type of thing over the last what decade mm-hmm. five yeah and i think there's one person that has kind of been put in charge of this entire thing like it's like come on bro come on come on come on, come on, come on. it's just a gimmick it's like you couldn't find yeah. like either some active u.s military member or someone who can't serve anymore because of something that they did while serving right who is some like there's probably hundreds and thousands of people that they could have found who could have benefited from this award, but instead, let's give it to Prince Harry. Make very up least an, an award. Yeah. Yeah. Make, yeah. Yes. At the very least, somebody from the United States. Perhaps. Or just make yeah. up an award. How about it's like the ESPY for a royal family member who doesn't want to be called royal right. family member who <laughs> loves sports. Yeah. yeah. Those yeah. two? Got a good ring. Got a great ring to it. They should do that. Harry. That'd be a sweet award. Harry. They could Makes do sense. that. They could do that. Like, or do like a global one. Like if They, well, they could do whatever they want, to, really. Yeah. Obviously, it's embarrassing. It is. It's tough. You know what else is wild? This. Uh- yeah. I mean, giving Prince Harry that award is a slap in the face to Pat Tillman's legacy. A complete slap in the face, man. I can't believe this, but I guess I can't believe it, you know, because this is ESPN. But I uh, look here. Pat Tillman's mother outraged by ESPN's decision to give Prince Harry award name in her son's honor. Now, this is what she had to say. Her name is um Mary Danny Tillman. She says, quote, I am shocked as to why they would select such a controversial and divisive individual to receive the award. She told the Daily Mail. There are recipients that are far more fitting. There are individuals working in the veteran community that are doing tremendous things to assist veterans. These individuals do not have the money, resources, connections, or privilege that Prince Harry has. I feel that those types of individuals should be recognized. I agree. I completely agree, man. But this is ESPN. You know, this is what they do, man. This is what they do. I mean, Prince Harry, man, he's a um, a prince of the UK. He doesn't even live in the UK. He's pretty much abandoned, I guess you can say, the UK veterans. He doesn't even live over there. That man is um living a good life over there in California because his wife, Meghan Markle, runs the show. This man can't even control his own family, man. He abandoned his duties. He quit on his family. He quit. He's not supporting his country anymore. I mean, guys, if I ran away from my country, say, you know what? I don't want to do this. I'm not being supportive of of my country. I'm pretty sure, you know, especially if I was famous, I'm pretty sure, you know, people would be giving me a lot of backlash. This man quit on his own country because he doesn't have any balls anymore. Doesn't have any and really hardly any connection to sports. But I'm not surprised, man, because this is ESPN. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white sports fans, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. And we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.